It's been a, a hell of a night. Yeah. Yeah, it really has. I don't want to keep our baby out too late, you know. Sorry, kiddo. Your parents are a couple night owls. I'm really glad that you're alive. So am I. You okay? Yeah. I'm okay. How about you? You tired? Hmm, I'm always tired. Too tired to come home with me? Never. for you old man. Mm. I hate to break it to you, but baby McBain doesn't do anything on command. Kind of like his dad. Hmm. I'm gonna take a shower, and then how about I go out and get you two breakfast? Mm -hmm. Maybe you'll give me a little kick then? It's worth a try. Yeah. I also know that you need to get off to work. No. You and this baby are more important than anything. What? What's wrong? What's wrong? What? <laughs> no, <laughs> someone just woke up. Just in time to say goodbye to their daddy before he goes off to work. <laughs> yeah. Hey. That's our baby. That's really our kid. Go home. You look beat. Gorgeous. But beat. Sometimes Junior takes it out of you. Yeah, well, I think you're right. And I am gonna go home, but... I need to talk to you about something first. And it's something you're not gonna like. What's on your mind? Lamaze. Lamaze? What is that? French? Huh? Some new age thing? Is that the thing that, uh... I, uh, I try to coach you to breathe while you scream about how much you hate me for getting you pregnant? Taking you to a room full of hormonal women and their partners learning how to time contractions and breathing. It's not your idea of a good time. No, it's not. But I'll be there. Really? Yeah. We're we'll in this together. Right, and I want to be with you through all of it, even if you're going to curse me like a drunken sailor when the baby comes. I'll be a lot worse than a drunken sailor. Bring it. Okay. Well, you just remember you said that, because class starts tomorrow. I'll text you at the time and place. All right. Um, I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you. Me first? No, you always go first. How about let me go first this time? Okay, um, what's up? What are you doing? Will you marry me? What it sounds like, I just asked you to marry me. This is happening? Yeah, it's happening. But why? I mean, where, where is this coming from? I wanted to. I mean, but, but why, why did you decide to ask me this minute? It just felt right. Can you just uh, excuse me for a second? Take your time, all right? I'm sure you have plenty of important things to do before you give me an answer. John. No, no, it's all right. It's okay, you know? You want to take some time, clean out your sock drawer? That's it. I know what we could do. We will go outside, we'll check the cars for antifreeze. I'm Make sorry. sure they're all filled up I'm for sorry, the I'm sorry, I'm pregnant. You know, I have to go to the bathroom a lot. Okay. You know, and I, I don't want you to marry me just because you think that it's the right thing to do if you're worried about this baby having a family. This baby's gonna have a family, you know? And this baby will have a family no matter what. I love what. you. I want you to be my wife. Because I love you. 
you love me? Yeah. Why would that be a problem? I wasn't counting on it being a problem, but I suppose if I gave it some thought, I could find a few ways that it might be. It was perfect. It was perfect. You couldn't have said it more right. More perfect. I mean, you want me to give you some reasons why it may not be? No. I mean, there's Clint with his ever-present shotgun. There's your crazy brothers. We could add them to the list. What are you, afraid of a little Texas uh, courtship? Did I say I was afraid? They'll bring it. I could take them. Yeah. I could take a lot for you. You already have. I just... I don't want anything to hurt you. Well, I don't think we can avoid that. But I'll stick. I'll stick. You're worth it. Marry me, Natalie. So you're not saying anything. That's now you're kind of doing the crying thing. I, I, what does all this mean? Is that let's say yes? Yes. Yes. That 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 was a yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. But are, are we forgetting something? I know the ring. No. No, not the ring. I no. I, I didn't. I didn't mean that. But... The what? Hurry up and kiss me already. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, hey, uh, bro, it's okay. What, what's up? What's going on? Uh, big fight. How's the little one doing? He's about to eat a gingerbread man. Is he? Mm. Mm. So what's the timetable? I don't know. You're gonna have to ask the kid. No. Oh, boy. How about Christmas? You want to tell people that? <laughs> don't you like having a little secret? I mean, it's, it's not like people don't know we're together. We're together. And he took off. And you believe him? I suppose it's possible. Well, if that's true, then that means the killer's still out there. Yeah, which means I got work to do. All right. Natalie. Christmas present. Go ahead. It's your mother's ring. You're really giving it to me this time? <laughs> Didn't feel right last time. You're ready now? Yeah. That ring's been in the family a long time. And now we're going to be a family. Feels right. Okay, put it on me. <laughs> well, yeah, you... I mean, you sure? I mean, what happened to our secret engagement and all that? I don't care. I changed my mind. We're going to tell everybody tonight. <sighs> we're engaged. So with, yeah, okay. Uh, excuse me, everyone. We're we're very sorry to interrupt, but um, we, we just wanted to say that um, I asked uh, Natalie to marry me, and in a temporary lapse in judgment on her part, she said yes. Oh, fast man! Fast man. Oh, that's so great. Thank you. Oh, congratulations! Oh,
Okay, partners. Uh... No, I'm figuring something small, something easy. Mm -hmm. That way you get out of having to have the big wedding. Yeah, I admit it. It's not exactly my thing, but if you want to wait for all that, we can. But just so you know, if it was up to me, we'd be married before the baby's born. We'd be married before the year is out. Well, I guess we've only got until midnight. If uh, we're going to get married tonight, we better hurry. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys get everything all set up? John got the license. Not only did the honorable judge Runyon waive the waiting period, he agreed to perform the ceremony. So there is nothing standing in our way of getting married tonight. Jessica called. Huh? She and Natalie are here. Wait, where are you going? I'm gonna see my girl. Well, Jessica's convinced it's bad luck for you to see Natalie before the ceremony. I bet you Natalie's arguing with her about that right now. Before you two decide to get married tonight. Jess, come on. It's tradition, Natalie, okay? I just I want you two to start off with good luck. Let's just not tempt fate. You know, I, uh, you're right. I could wait a few more minutes to see Joe. <laughs> As you know, Natalie doesn't always play by the rules. She, she does what she wants when she wants to. And sometimes that gets her into trouble. <laughs> but I wouldn't have her any other way. I could say was yes. Uh, so that explains it. Well, it's good to see you happy. And maybe you'll make him think twice before he calls me in the middle of the night asking me to bend the rules. Mm, don't worry, Judge. I think the only thing John's gonna be doing in the middle of the night pretty soon is bouncing a baby back to sleep. <laughs> We're all set. Marriage is a promise of love. It is a promise to be faithful and to be honest. It is a pact to trust each other with your wildest dreams and your deepest fears. I, John, take you, Natalie, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forth to love, honor, and cherish, to comfort and respect, in sorrow or in joy, in hardship or in plenty, for as long as we both shall live. Hi, Natalie. Take you, John. love, honor, cherish, to respect and comfort in sorrow or in joy, in hardship or in plenty, for as long as we both shall live. symbol of my love and devotion. Let it always be a reminder of my love for you.